Hi, this is Paul Hanlon. You're watching Hibernian TV. Paul, back on the training pitch after a frustrating layoff. What are your thoughts heading into the game against Wraith Rovers? No, obviously, just first and foremost, I'd like to be back out training with the lads. Um, it wasn't too long an injury, but it felt like AJ's been stuck in the physio room. So, now I'm glad to be back uh, training with the boys and looking forward to the game, which is going to be a tough game, but a big, important game for the club. Was that the most frustrating injury and setback that you've experienced during your career so far? No, nah, I'd never say the one I had last season was more frustrating purely because there wasn't a sort of set time scale on it. There wasn't, it was a bit of uncertainty, uncertainty sorry, towards it, but... Um, no, nah, but this one I knew. I knew exactly how long I was going to be, and if I'd done everything right, then I'd be fine. So, no, nah, I just worked hard with the physio, and now I'm back up training with the boys. You missed out on the Celtic match, but for the benefit of our viewers, just how close did you come to being selected in the starting lineup? Yeah, well, the Friday before the game on the Sunday, um, I was out with the physio, and I, I um, done everything basically sprints, uh, striking the ball, everything. So I was I was ready to train on the Saturday, and the manager said if you if you can train on Saturday, then I'll, I'll think about playing you, so, um, but just that night after I think I about pushed it a wee bit too hard and it was aching a bit um, in, the, in my thigh, so um, I told the physio in the morning and he rolled me out right away, so it just, it just meant a wee bit, a wee bit more of a break and with I, with I was having a free week after that, it was, it was perfect just to let it settle and now I'm ready to go. Before that injury, how would you evaluate your own individual form because you've been attracting a lot of plaudits for, for the way you've been playing at the back? Yeah, I was I was feeling pretty confident in games and enjoying it. Um, we were getting good results at the time as well, so it was uh, no everyone was going well and I was I was enjoying every game I was playing in. So now nah, hopefully I just kick on again. Um, small setback, but just need to get my form back and keep going. Really, you've grown in confidence. What would you put that down to? I and mean, you're obviously playing alongside an experienced centre half in Michael Nelson, who is a good communicator as well. Do you feel that that's really helped you? Yeah, and, uh, Michael's been brilliant since he's came in and we've, we've played together. I've always felt comfortable playing with him and um, we've got a quite a good par partnership going. Um, obviously, there's had to be a few changes in, in recent weeks, but um, hopefully if I'm selected at the weekend, then we can uh, keep going with that partnership. Well, a match-up at the weekend, you will be pitting your wits potentially against your good pal Callum Booth. How strange will that be? Yeah, it'll be strange. Um, obviously, it's, it's been a couple of years now, nearly since he's since he's played for Hibs, so um, he's not been around the training ground for a while, but also I keep in touch with him quite a lot and, and see him whenever I can, so um, nah, it's, it's, it's going to be strange, but when it comes to the game, you just concentrate on the game and, and you're not worrying about too much else. You obviously still see him fairly regularly, don't you, because you were roommates for both Hibs and for Scotland on the 21s, weren't you? Yeah, we're, we're close pals and um, I speak to him a good few times a week and then uh, he stays over in Dunfermline now, so I try and catch up with him whenever I can and... Um, as I said, just I'll, I'll speak to him after the game about it, but not too much before.